story time. Today we are reading this book, Attack of the Runaway Robot, from our Auto Be Good book series by Character Counts. And today's word we're going to learn is responsibility. I bet you've heard about being responsible before, so let's find out. Attack of the Runaway Robot from the Auto Be Good book series, a lesson in responsibility. A tiny robot named O.B. Jr. whirred and spun happily around Professor's lab. He zoomed over to his new owner, Izzy. Well, it looks like you are quite pleased with your birthday present, Izzy, Professor said from his workbench. Oh yes, Izzy replied. I never thought having a robot could be so much fun. A lot of fun, yes, but also a lot of responsibility, Professor said. You'll need to care for him, and whatever happens, good or bad, OB Jr. is your responsibility. Are you sure you can do it, Izzy? Izzy tickled OB Jr. on his metal chin. Sure, Professor, we're going to have such a good time. There's one last thing, Professor added. You must be sure to bring him inside every night. The morning dew can damage his wiring. I think you remember the last time OB Jr.'s circuits were destroyed. He caused quite a stir. You have nothing to worry about, Professor. I'll be responsible, Izzy said cheerfully. Soon Izzy was out in her yard playing with her new friend. OB Jr. skipped and whirled around Izzy's yard. He looped high over a tree and swooped down to meet Izzy again. Try this, OB, Izzy called and handed OB Jr. a paintbrush. First, they painted pictures of each other. Then Izzy taught OB to spell his name in magnetic letters. Having a robot is fun and easy. I don't know what Professor was so worried about, Izzy laughed. Hey Izzy, EJ called from the road. I'm going to get ice cream, you wanna come? Sure, Izzy shouted and raced forward. A mournful, Beep stopped her. Oh, sorry, OB, Izzy said. You can't have ice cream, but you can stay here and pick up sticks for me. The robot saluted her and went right to work. Izzy returned home much later. She was so tired from having fun with EJ that she forgot all about her robot. Meanwhile, OB Jr. kept picking up sticks. Later that night, the dew began to settle and something inside OB Jr. went pop. His little circuits were fried. Suddenly, the damaged robot began to collect more than just sticks. He grabbed branches, logs, and even some trees. He piled them all in Izzy's driveway. OB Jr. then picked up the paintbrush and flew off into the night. The next morning, when Izzy tried to leave the house, she found her driveway completely blocked. Look at this mess! What happened? Izzy wondered. Izzy drove into the street and looked around. Oh no, Izzy cried. OB Jr. painted everything. Why would he do that? Izzy suddenly spotted her little robot. Oh dear, I left OB Jr. outside all night, Izzy finally realized. I hope he's okay. But as soon as she looked closely, it was clear something was wrong. I'd better get Professor. He'll know how to. Izzy stopped and thought. Professor might be mad if she asked him for help. After all, she hadn't listened to him. And now OB Jr. was broken. Izzy began to panic. This is all EJ's fault, she said to herself. I wouldn't have forgotten about OB Jr. if EJ hadn't asked me to go for ice cream. Izzy dragged OB Jr. back inside her house and locked the door. I know, I'll go get EJ. He should have to fix this, Izzy said. She raced off to find EJ. Inside the house, OB Jr. began to twitch. A short time later, Izzy and EJ returned to her house. They saw that Izzy's window was broken and Obi Jr. was nowhere to be found. He's gone, Izzy shrieked. We have to find him. Shouldn't you ask Professor for help? EJ asked. I can't let Professor know that I wasn't responsible with Obi Jr., Izzy cried. Come on, we have to get Obi back before he gets into any more trouble. 
Izzy and EJ raced around. It wasn't long before they found OB Jr. There he is, EJ shouted. OB Jr. circled slowly. He held a large paintbrush. OB, Izzy asked carefully, what are you doing? I got him, EJ shouted and jumped to grab the wayward robot. OB dodged EJ and swiped him with the paintbrush. Izzy, he gave me a mustache, EJ shouted. Izzy laughed and laughed until <gasps> OB painted an even bigger mustache and a goatee on her. EJ snorted with laughter. Suddenly, OB Jr. dropped the brush and raced off. EJ and Izzy chased after him. They made their way down the street and were surprised when Professor pulled right into their path. EJ and Izzy screeched to a halt. Izzy, EJ, I've been looking all over for you, Professor cried. Uh, hi, Professor, Izzy said uneasily. What's up? Have you noticed anything strange going on? Professor asked. Strange, Izzy said and rubbed her painted mustache. I haven't noticed anything strange. Someone has been painting the signs. Look, Professor pointed to a billboard. Izzy shrieked. OB rules? Do you know anything about this? Professor asked. Is there something wrong with OB Jr.? Wrong, Izzy replied. No, I certainly didn't leave him out overnight. And he's definitely not broken and running loose around the city. OB zoomed by and painted a large mustache on Professor. Professor jumped back, startled. Isadora, Professor said sternly. Okay, I guess I'll tell the truth, Izzy sighed. It's all EJ's fault. My fault, EJ exclaimed. Or your fault, Professor, Izzy said. You made OB Jr. so breakable. Professor had heard enough. He extended his magnet and quickly captured the crazy robot. Izzy, Professor said, I asked if you could be responsible for OB Jr. You said you could, but I don't think you realized what that meant. But I played with him, Izzy stammered. But, but, but I played with him, Izzy stammered. And, and I taught him how to paint and even to spell his name. Yes, you did, Izzy, and that was good, Professor said. But being responsible means much more. For one, it means you own up to your mistakes. You're right, Professor, Izzy agreed. I forgot OB Jr. outside, and when he was out of control, I didn't come to you for help. I suppose it wasn't right to blame EJ either, was it? That is correct, Professor said. It's very easy to blame others when things go wrong. But when they do, you need to do your best to make things right. I understand, Professor, Izzy said. I'll do my best to clean up this mess and try to be more responsible from now on. Professor beamed. You've learned an important lesson, he said. We'll get OB Jr. fixed and give you another chance. Responsibility also means you keep on trying to do what's right and not give up. And so, while Professor was fixing the damaged robot, Izzy and EJ spent all week helping clean up the mess that OB Jr. made. Soon, OB Jr. and the neighborhood were back to normal. I sure learned my lesson, Izzy said, as she pulled OB Jr. away from some of Professor's glass beakers. You know, Professor, Izzy said, Taking responsibility for OB was a lot bigger job than I thought it would be, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. Don't you think so, Professor? Uh, Professor? Professor turned around. Oh no, Izzy gasped. Did OB Jr. go wild again and paint you? Nothing like that, Professor chuckled. Actually, I just like the way the mustache looks. They both laughed and laughed. Wow, can you imagine having a pet robot? How cool would that be? But if you had one, you'd probably have to be responsible for it, just like Izzy was. She had a few lessons to learn in responsibility, didn't she? But in the end, Professor helped her. And in the end, she became responsible. So I want you to think of one thing that you can do to make sure that you are very responsible. Maybe that's 
taking care of your toys, or feeding your pet dog, whatever it is, make sure you work on your responsibility. See you later.